Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Marissa. Welcome to your Total Body Bar class. Today you're going to need some light weights between one and two pounds. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you could use whatever you have lying around the house like a water bottle or some cans of beans. We're also going to need something to hold onto like a bar. If you don't have a bar, you could use a chair, a couch, countertop, a table, whatever you have. And with that, let's get started. We're gonna start with our feet hip width apart. Today we're starting with some reverse lunges. So hands on our hips, starting to lunge back, alternating legs. Nice and easy, stepping back, being sure that your knee is staying over your toes. Okay, make sure it's not leaning in and out. Keep it right over your toes. Three more. Two more, on the next one, hold it back there. We're gonna lunge down, straighten, down, straighten. As you lower down, I want you to think about reaching your back knee towards the floor and keeping your heel high in the back and keeping your chest tall. Let's add some arms. We're gonna push elbows up, pull them in. Push it up, pull it in. Reach, pull. Think about leading with your elbows, okay? So really push forward, pull back. Three more, two more. Adding on the arms again, we're gonna push up, pull down. Push up, pull down. Push, pull. Four more coming up. Low, pull. Three, pull. Two, we're gonna keep going, kneeing our back leg up. So we lunge down, knee. Lunge, knee. Now, if this is feeling a little crazy today, keep your leg back there, continue with your lunge squats like we were doing before. We're gonna add on a little kick. So we lunge, kick, lunge, kick. Again, if the kick is a little crazy today, keep your knee in. Woo, you've got three, two, last one. Lunge pulses to the back. Hold it right back here. You got it. Come on, back knee reaching down. We're warming up our legs. Arms are high. Keep breathing. You've got four, three, two, alternating lunges. Step it up, pull it back. Push, pull. Nice work, y'all. We're working the transition to the other side. You've got four, three, two. On the next one, hold it back there. We straighten, lower, lift, lower. You got it, four more. Three. Two, we start to add on those arms. Pulling up, push, pull, push. Elbows leading the way, okay? Pull it back, push it up. Back knee reaching right down to the mat. We add that pull down, so we pull down. Push the elbows, pull down, push. Reaching your back knee down to the floor every time you lunge down. You got three. Two, ready to add that knee in, knee it in, push, knee, push. Woo, let's go y'all, we are warming it up. Three, two, give me that kick, let's go. Kick it up, down, kick. You're almost there, okay, keep going. Four, three, two, Last one, hold it back there, pulses. Down, down, come on, bend your back knee, no straight leg in the back, keep it low. Elbows high, you've got four, three, two, step your feet together, take a big inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, one more time, big breath up. Exhale, walk yourself to the back of your mat, we're gonna come down for plank. Big inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Take a second to stretch here. Holding in this forward fold. Lengthening through the back of your legs. Starting to take a little bend. Bending right, bending left. Right, left. Starting to open up your hips a little bit. Sinking into your glutes and your hamstrings. Let's go for four, three, two. Let's walk it out to our high plank. Hands right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna tuck our knees down into modified plank to start, okay? Make sure you're not hanging out down here. 
and you're not up here on quadruped, all right? You're in plank. So your hands are under your shoulders and your hips are lower than your shoulders, but not too low. We're gonna start with our down up push up. So we're gonna lower down onto the elbows, push it up, up, down, down, push. Three more. Now, we're gonna bring it up onto high plank. If you'd like to stay down on your knees, you're welcome to. Otherwise, bring it up onto your toes. Hold it. Keep holding. Down up push up. Let's go for six. Here we go. Lowering down, down, push it up, up. Keeping your hips as still as you can. Try not to really twist or turn with your hips. You've got three more. Come on, pull your belly up and in. Strong, long spine. Last one coming up right here. Then I want you to hold your high plank. If you are on your knees, I want you to come all the way up. Hands under your shoulders, long neck. Tuck your tailbone under. Knee ins right to your chest. We pull it in, hold, bring it back. Pull, hold, and back. Keep your belly pulled up and in. Thinking about tucking your tailbone under. Three, two, we knee in across to opposite elbow. Cross, cross. Taking a little bit of twist into your hips, keeping your shoulders square to your mat. Pointing your toes on the way in, right? Last three, come on, two, last one. Hold your high plank, hold it, scoop your belly under. Find your strong spine. We're gonna lower ourselves down to prone onto our bellies. Alrighty, so pull your belly in. Bend your elbows back towards your toes as you lower yourself down. All the way to the floor. And relax. We are set up for our back work. Y'all ready for this? I'm gonna inch up here. We're gonna start with our hands reaching back towards our heels. Our palms are facing down to the floor. Our chest is rolled away from the mat. All right, so imagine from one shoulder across your collarbones to the other shoulder is one straight line and not a rolled over arc. Okay, you're keeping everything open. Fingertips reaching back. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Your head is staying in line with your spine. Your hips are pressing into the floor. You're squeezing into your glutes and into your mid back and upper back to help you lift. Shoulder blades are pulling down towards your hips and you're keeping your legs on the mat. You got three, two, hold it high. We're gonna bend our elbows into a W, reach overhead, bend to W, reach it back. Okay, W. Reach front, W, reach it back. Now you wanna keep your palms facing down as if your palms are hovering right over the floor. If you're finding that you have to do some kind of twist with your elbow to bend and straighten your arms, I want you to think about where your shoulders are. Are they rounding down to the mat or are they lifting away from the floor? If you're rounding down, you're gonna find difficulty in moving through your range of motion here. Bring it in. We reach, last time, elbow, reach back to your legs. We're gonna point our toes, press into our hips, squeeze our glutes, keep our chest lifted. We're gonna alternate our legs, up and lower. Lift and lower. Our legs are staying straight. I want you to point your toes. And if you can, keep your chest lifted. If you find that you need a break, I want you to come down, rest your head down onto your hands but try not to lose that intensity in your low back and in your legs. Lift, lift. Keep reaching through the crown of your head and right through your big toes. Last two, we're gonna combine that elbow movement with the legs. So we're gonna bend to W, reach, W, back. Two kicks, up and up. Again, W, front, W, back. Two kicks. Two more, W, front, W, back, lift. One more coming up, y'all, you've got this. W, reach, W, back, two kicks. We're gonna pulse our chest, up, up. Lifting, peeling one rib off of your mat, lift, lift. Keep reaching your arms back, straighten your arms, relax 
lengthen your neck. Your four, three, two, one. Come down and rest. Breathing, letting your back lengthen. Taking your hands under your shoulders, sit yourself back into child's pose. Breathe. Take your knees wide. Really sit your hips back and lengthen through your low back. Let everything tuck under. Make your way up onto all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Start to round your belly under. Tailbone tucks to chin. Think about pulling your belly button right up to the sky behind you. Flatten down, just let everything drop into cow. No need to squeeze anything, just let it drop. One more time into cat, tuck and roll. Find neutral, tuck your toes, down dog. Walk your hands in. Start to roll yourself up. Whew, we're gonna grab our weights. You guys ready for some more upper body? We are hitting triceps and shoulders right here. Taking your feet hip width apart. I want you to bend your knees, tuck your tailbone under, close your rib cage. Shoulders rolling down and back. We're gonna start. Elbows and fists parallel. We start to open. Goal post, close. Goal post, close. Lead with your elbows, okay? Push the elbows back, pull them together. Push, pull. I don't wanna see just your hands coming in together, okay? Reach your elbows. Open, squeeze. We're working back, chest, back, chest. Four, three, two. On the next one, hold it close. We're gonna pull it down and push. Pull, squeeze into your back, push, lift. Pull, squeeze. Lead with your elbows, okay? Really pull and push. Keeping that soft bend in your legs, right? You're not moving your spine. Your spine is staying pretty neutral. Not letting it sway with your arms. We're gonna add on as your elbows come back. I want you to find a hinged position. So you pull back, hinge, push, lift. Turning sideways so you can see. Push and lift. As your elbows come back, you're squeezing your elbows up towards the ceiling. Sitting your hips back behind your heels, hinging your chest forward, right from your hips. Okay, so as you come down, your back is nice and flat. Two more, pull it back and push on the next one. We're gonna hold that hinged position. Hold it, find your long spine. Elbows squeezing into your sides, tailbone reaching back behind you. We start with kickbacks. Push, pull, bet you saw that coming, right? <laughs> chest staying nice and open. Collarbone staying wide. We push, we pull. Squeezing right at the top. Your four. Three, I wanna stress that enough. Two more. Hold it back there, micro kickbacks. Little press, press. This is all about squeezing at the top right here. If you find that you're starting to come here, I want you to drop your weights. Continue without the weights. I swear you will still Feel that burn through your triceps, okay? We want to get correct form through our upper body and shoulders and neck. Last four, three, we're going to start to play around here, okay? We're going to lift forward, straighten up, bend our elbows, hinge forward, squeeze, kick back, squeeze. Lift front, bend the elbows, pull back, squeeze, straighten, squeeze. We're going to go two more times nice and slow like this because as we start to pick up speed, I want you to continue to hit all four of these positions, right? Standing tall, straight, lift forward. Elbows bend in. Elbows lead, pull back. Squeeze, a little bit faster. Lifting up, bend, pull, squeeze. Up, bend, pull. Are you still hitting all four positions? Give me precision. Squeezing through your upper body. Giving me a nice sit back as you reach your elbows back. Right, really sit your hips back. Last one at this pace, we're gonna go turbo speed. Y'all ready? Up, in, back, reach. Up, in, back, reach. Here's where your movements start to melt. Imagine you are skiing, pulling your rods forward, pushing back to glide yourself forward on those skis. We are skiing in August right now. <laughs> Woo! Up, pull, squeeze back. Make sure you're hitting that straight arm on the way back. Four, three, two, on the next one. You're gonna hold it back there, my 
micro kickback. Push, push. Come on, finish it out right here. Squeeze. Open your chest. Wide collarbone, shoulder blades squeezing across your back. Squeezing your arms straight. Your five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Drop your weights. Let's take a little stretch. Feet nice and wide. Big inhale up. You're going to reach your right arm straight up overhead. Side bend down. Bringing yourself back up. You're going to bend your right arm behind. Little tricep stretch. Right fingertips reaching right back towards your tailbone. Release. Other side. Side bend. Bringing it up. Tricep stretch. Elbow bends. Fingertips reaching back. And release. We're gonna make our way up to our bar, so I'll meet you there. Alrighty, we're gonna start with our feet in first position. So, heels together, toes open to 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, or wherever is comfortable for your knees to bend over your toes. Alright, that can be different for everybody. Your first position can look way different than mine, and that's fine. As long as your knees are going right over your toes, that's all I care about. You can face into your bar if you feel like you'd like extra balance. I'm turned this way so you can see what's going on here. But we're going to keep our feet right here. We'll lift up onto the balls of your feet. Step your feet in close enough where your heels can touch and squeeze together. But you're still lifted up high onto the balls of your feet. You're going to bend your knees out over your toes. Your tailbone is sliding right down over your heels. Your chest is tall. We're going to start with lowering down an inch, up an inch, down, up. These are your plies in first position, okay? We're up on dummy point, up on the balls of our feet. Heels are squeezed together. Knees are opening wide over your toes. As you bend your knees down, you are squeezing into your glutes to help you press your thighs out. And as you lift up that tiny little inch, I want you to think about squeezing up through your inner thighs, thinking about lifting right up through your center. Your abdominals are pulled in. Your tailbone is slightly tucked under. Your rib cage is knitted. Your chest is really, really tall, nice wide shoulders. And your head is going right up to the ceiling. Three, almost there. Two, hold it low. Little pulses down right here. Down, down, down. I want you to think about staying low. Okay, so instead of thinking about going down and up, I want you to think about going down, down, down. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Lower every time you hit that low part of your pulse. You got four, three, two, hold it low. We're gonna press our thighs back, release. Press, squeeze, release. This is such a tiny, tiny movement. Probably doesn't look like I'm doing anything at all here. What I'm doing is I'm squeezing the muscle in the back of my leg to help press my thighs out, to help keep my tailbone stacked over my heels. I'm gonna turn so you can see how small this is. Press, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. You got four, three, two. We're gonna combine our double pulses. So we're gonna pulse down, down, squeeze it back, back, pulse, pulse, press it back, back, pulse, down, down, thighs press back, back, pulse, down, down. How you doing? Are you burning it up right here? If you're not, I want your heels to be high. I want you to squeeze your heels together and I want you to get lower. Lower, down, down, back. Two more right here. Down, down, press, press. Last one. Come on, keep your tailbone tucked. We start to straighten our legs. Up, down, up, down, as you lift up, you are squeezing right through your midsection, right through your inner thighs, right? You lift, squeeze through the inner thighs. Squeeze through the abdominals. Think lifting high. Your crown of your head is going through the ceiling. As you come down, your knees are bending out over your toes. Almost there, you've got four. Come on, higher. Last two. Hold it up there. I want you to turn your feet parallel. So now your toes and your heels are going straight ahead. Stay high. We're gonna lower our heels down slow, lowering down, down, lift up, up, down, down. These are your elevates, okay? You're lowering your heels, pushing through the ball of your foot to lift up tall. Now, this is not just a calf exercise. You are using your entire body here, lifting up 
Every time you lift up towards the ceiling, I want you to pull everything else up. Okay, lower down, lift, lengthen up, down, lift. Now, if you find that you're rocking back onto your heels and then catapulting yourself back up there, I want you to think about what you're doing, right? Lower down slow, touch your heels down, push up slow. Okay, it's a tiny little touch of your heels and then you lift. So you're really not resting your heels down on the floor at all. The floor is just kind of like a baseline to tell you how low to lower your heels before you start to go back up, okay? So keep your weight mostly on the balls of your feet. I'm sure you feel your calves. We're gonna pick up the pace here. We're gonna lower down, push, down, push. Here's where you're probably gonna to want to use that momentum, that rocking momentum of going back onto your heels to help you get up. Try to avoid that, right? You're pressing down through the balls of your feet and just lowering your heels down to touch the mat. Your heels are going right over the balls of your feet. All right, try not to let them go out over your pinkies, okay? We want a straight line, stacking the ball of our foot under our knee, under our hip, under our shoulders. You got four, are you burning? Three, come on, nice straight legs. Halfway down, we're gonna lower, half down, push up, half down, push up, half, push, half, push. Come on, you're almost there, okay? This is your last move, let's pick up the pace. We lower, down, push, 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 keep your legs straight, keep lifting your quads up away from your knees, keep your belly lifted. Everything is staying nice and tall up to the ceiling. You got eight, come on, this is it right here. Six, five, four, push, three, push, two. Hold it up there. Both arms come up off of your bar, balance. This is your last move here before you rest, okay? Come on, press down through the balls of your feet, lift up tall. You're trying to stretch yourself all the way up through the ceiling. Big inhale. Drop your shoulders, exhale, arms come down, drop your heels, let's take a quick little stretch. If you're not facing into your bar yet, go ahead and face in. We're gonna step one heel back, take a nice stretch. Pressing into the ball of your foot, lift your heel high, then drop your heel one more time. Do it again, press into the ball of your foot, drop your heel, stretch. Switch your feet. Press into the ball of your foot, drop your heel stretch. Last time, press into the ball of your foot, drop your heel stretch. Standing up tall, still facing into your bar, we're gonna come into our flat back. So elbows down on your chair, step your heels back, find your flat back. Your seat, your seat is gonna be slightly behind your heels. So if you find that you're here, um, you're gonna find that you're not able to lift yourself up off the bar without sledding your hips back behind your heels, all right? So I want you to be able to be in a position where you could let go of the bar and nothing would move, okay? That's where I want you to be. Making sure your back is nice and long, your belly is really pulled up into your spine, and you're really hinging forward from your hips. We're gonna take our right leg, flex your heel. We're gonna start to pulse it up at hip height. We are keeping in parallel here, so both of your toes are going straight down towards your bar. Your heel is really full flex. I want you to really try and pull flex through the back of your heel. Your Achilles is going right up to the ceiling. You're finding length by pressing through the bottom of your foot and really reaching your leg out away from your hip socket. Your belly's pulled in. You are squeezing your right glute at the top of every pulse, okay? This is not a passive lift. I want you to squeeze. Squeeze. If you can't feel the squeeze, I want you to at least put your brain into your butt, right? Squeeze. Squeeze. You got four, three, two. We're going to start to trace a capital letter U. Lower and down, lift, squeeze. Lower down, lift, squeeze. Nice and slow. Your belly's pulled in. You're trying not to let your hips move as you lower, lift. Squeezing at the top. You lower, lift, and squeeze. Lower, lift, and squeeze. Two more. We're gonna keep the same move. We're gonna pick up the pace. Y'all ready? It's a lower, lift, lower, lift. Down, lift, down, lift. Drop your shoulders, pull your belly in. You got four, three, two, point your toe. We're gonna pulse it up, and up, and up. Starting from the top, 
with pointed toe. So you're reaching your big toe long. You're still keeping your right hip square down to the floor, chest square to the floor. Reaching out through your big toe, you got eight. Can you reach your leg a little longer? Six, five, pull your belly in a little deeper. You're three, two, slow capital U's. Lower down, lift, squeeze. Lower, lift, squeeze. Squeeze, down, squeeze. You got four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two. Ready to pick up that pace? Let's go, it's a down, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, are you tracing that U? Going outside to inside to outside. You got four, three, two, one. You're gonna stay right there, flex your foot. Turn yourself to the side. Your elbow is resting down under your shoulder. Your toe is going right out towards the front. Your knee is going over your toe and your top hip is opened out. You're gonna bend your knee. Foot is flexed. Make sure your knee is out to the side and it's not up in front of you, okay? You're really keeping your heel pressed back. We're gonna lower, lift, lower, lift. Take your time. Make sure you're keeping your knee right out to the side, okay? You got three, lift, two. Hold it at the top. You're gonna press your heel to the back. Press, release, press, squeeze, release. So you're keeping your hip Pressing forward, and the bottom of your foot is stamping the wall behind you. If you want to put your hand on your butt, your glute, feel your leg squeeze back there. You got two more. We're going to combine our two movements, starting with a lift up. We lift up, push back, lift up, push back, lift, push, lift, push. You got eight, push, seven, push, six, reach, five, come on, press your heel, four, Squeeze, three, higher, two, last one. Bring your leg all the way down. Let's take a quick stretch. Working leg, flex your heel forward, sit your hips back. Breathing right here. Coming up to standing, crossing your standing leg up and over. We're gonna be flipping right over to the other side, alrighty? Alright, taking it onto the other side, we start facing into our bar, elbows down. Hips sitting back behind our heels, belly pulled up and in. We extend our left leg back, flex your foot, starting to pulse it up. You have a nice soft bend on your standing leg. Your belly's really pulled up and away from your thigh. And you're really flexing your back foot, squeezing through your heel, reaching through the bottom of your foot. You're really finding the length through the crown of your head, right? So your head is reaching away from the bottom of your foot. Keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed, dropping them away from your ears, finding a really long neck, and squeezing your glute at the top of every pulse. Lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze. You got four, three, Two, capital letter U's, nice and slow. Down, lift, squeeze. Down, lift, squeeze. Keep your legs straight. Think about moving right from your hip joint. Squeezing your glute at the top of each side of your U or your smiley face, right? We're tracing a big smiley face. Lift, squeeze. Down, lift, squeeze. Two more slow. Let's pick it up. Here we go. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, lift. Squeezing through the bottom of your foot. Squeeze your leg long. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Come on, belly pulled up. Three, two, point your toe. Pulses from the top. Lift, lift. Your leg is so long here. Point your toe. Keep reaching it right out away from your hip. Five, four, three, slow use. Down, lift, squeeze. Down, lift, squeeze. Down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Pick up your pace right here. Down, lift, lift, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, find length. Reach through the crown of your head. Pull your belly up and in. Keep that soft bend on your standing leg. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up there. Flex your foot. Start to turn yourself side. Elbow is down right under your shoulder. Your heel 
is turned in, toes turned out, knee going right over your toes. Bend your knee back. You're nice and open, facing towards the front, shoulders relaxed. We start to lift out and in, out and in. Now, if you find that you need to come up here, go ahead, but just watch that your knee is not in front of your standing leg. I want you to always be keeping it in line. Lift, in, four, flex your foot, three, two, hold it at the top, heel presses back, press, release, press, release. Your hips are staying so nice and still. You are squeezing your glutes, squeezing your hamstring, pressing your heel, the bottom of your foot right back to the wall behind you. Chest is staying nice and open. You're nice and relaxed. Lifting your rib cage away from the floor. You got four, three, two. Get ready to combine it. Pulsing up first right here. It's a lift, pulse back. Lift higher, pulse back farther. Lift, push. It's not a bounce up and down in front and back. It's a lift higher, push farther. Lift higher, push farther. Heel going right back to the wall behind you. Lift, push. Five, push. Four, you're almost there. Keep it high. Squeeze. Three, squeeze, two, last one, last one. Push it back, bring it all the way down. Let's take a quick stretch. Working leg, forward for hamstring stretch. Letting our hips get a little break. Standing up, work standing leg, crosses over, figure four stretch. Are you ready to hit the floor? Yeah, okay, we're gonna put our bar away and we're gonna come down to the mat, so meet me down there. Let's make our way down onto all fours, coming down. We're gonna take our hands under our elbows, our knees under our hips. Then we're gonna take our right elbow down. All right, so your right elbow's down. You're gonna pull your belly in, keep your gaze out ahead of your hands. You're gonna extend your left leg out to the side. All right, so we're gonna lift out, close, out, close. Your belly staying pulled in. Your foot is flexed, and we're just doing a little tilted fire hydrant here, okay? You've got two more. Hold it out there. You're gonna bring your knee into your elbow, then push your heel out. Knee to elbow, push it out. Nice, y'all, knee in. Push. Get ready to pick up the pace. Here it is, a little bit faster. In, push, in. Push, keep your knee wide, opening out into that fire hydrant throughout your entire range here. So you squeeze, push, last two. On the next one, hold it out there. We're gonna tap down. Tap, lift. So you're tapping the inside of your foot down to the floor here. Okay, little big toe tap. Tap, squeeze. Two more. Hold it at the top, pulses. We lift. Lift, come on, straighten your legs, squeeze through your heel, push, push, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, keep your spine reaching long, squeeze your glute at the top, your four, three, ready to trace those U's, here we go, down and up, down and up, down and up, straighten your leg, trace from the bottom of your heel, alrighty, this is it, you got eight, seven, lift, six, Five, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, last one, lift, bring it down. Take a quick child's pose, breathe. We're gonna go right over onto the other side. This time, I want you to take your left elbow down. Knees are stacked under your hips. Left foot, uh, sorry, left elbow is down, right foot flex, ready? Here it is, we open it out, and squeeze, out, and squeeze. Chest is staying open, you're keeping your gaze out in front of your arms, all right, you're not looking underneath yourself, you're keeping your head really long, squeezing out as wide as you can, trying to separate your knees away from each other. Four more, right here, four, Three, two, on the next one, hold it out there. Slow knee in, 
Pull your knee in, kick it up. Yes, pull in, push, pull, squeeze your knee wide. Pull, push, lift, squeeze, flex your heel. Pull, push, last one slow. We pick up that pace, pull it in, push, pull. Come on, keep your knee wide. Keep it opening out to the side. Four, push, three, long neck, two, one, hold it up there. We tap our toe, down, lift, tap, lift. Everything is staying pretty still, except for your leg. You tap, squeeze, four, lift, three, hold it at the top for pulses, lift it up. Uh, how is your other leg doing? Is it burning still? Woo! Both glutes are burning up right here. You got four, three, two, trace that U, down and up, down and up, down and up. Nice work, y'all. Come on, straighten your leg. Reach through the bottom of your heel. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down. Find your child's pose. Big inhale, big exhale, coming down onto your sides. You're gonna come onto your elbow, okay? Make sure your elbow is stacked under your shoulder. Your belly is lifted away from the floor. You're gonna take your top leg, heel is down on the floor. Bottom leg, you're gonna flex your foot, bring it out towards the front corner of your mat. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Your leg might not go up very high, and that's okay. If you have anything going on with your shoulders and your neck today, you are always welcome to come right here, or even all the way down here. Alrighty? You got two more. Hold it up there. Pulses. We lift. Lift. If you want more burn, you're going to keep your leg closer to your back ankle, okay? If you bring it out here, other muscles might take over besides the inner thighs, so keep it close. Three, two, keep pulsing. We're gonna flex up, point up, flex up, point, flex, point, flex. You've got three, two, one. Hold your flex, hold it up there. You're gonna bend your knee. Bring it in towards your chest, push it right back out. Pull it into your chest, push. Pull it up, push it out a little faster. Pull, push, keep your knee high. I want you to think about keeping your shin parallel to your mat, okay? So your ankle is not lifted higher and your knee is not lifted higher. Everything is sliding right across the tabletop, a few inches above the top of your mat. You got three, two, on the next one, hold the bend, pulses up, up. Again, you're keeping your shin parallel, thinking about lifting right from the inside of your knee. So if you need a little bit of tactile contact here, put your hand right here. Think about pressing into your hand. Lift, lift, lift. We're here for a while, y'all, so dig into that burn. Find your posture, relax your shoulders, pull your belly in. Right, you're staying lifted away from the mat. Shin is parallel. You got eight, seven, six. Come on, a little higher, you're four, three, Two, one, drop it down. Y'all ready to flip to the other side? Let's go, come on, quick. Elbow under your shoulder. Chest lifted away from the floor. Back leg bent. Bottom leg flex. Keep it close to your ankle. We start to pulse. Lift, lift, lift. Pressing through your heel, really trying to straighten your leg. Keeping your leg really, really long. Right, you're reaching right out of your hip socket. Trying to find that length. Nice tall posture, chest lifting away from the floor, rib cage, not sinking into the bottom of your mat, right? You're lifting away. Three, two, we lift. Flex, pulse, flex, pulse, flex, pulse. Really find your ankle here, right? It might feel a little gummy. That's okay, that's just your brain trying to work out the coordination here, okay? Just keep working at it. It's gonna only get easier to flex and point. Last four, three, 
two, hold the flex. Knee pulls in, push it out. Pull it right into your chest, push it out right into your back leg. Pull, push. Come on, keep lifted away from the floor. Push, really pull. Try to press your heel out as far as you can. Keep your thigh lifted, right? Your shin is parallel to the floor. Little faster, push, pull, push, pull. Squeeze it out, pull it in, squeeze. You got eight right here. Come on, reach, pull, squeeze it up, push it out. Last four, belly lifted, squeeze it higher. Last one, hold the bend, pulses, lift, lift. Y'all feeling that inner thigh right here? Woo, come on, push it up, parallel shin. Press it right up from the inside of that thigh. Lift, lift. Come on, tall chest. Keep pressing, pressing. Heel and knee lifting at the same pace. Lift, lift. You got eight, seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Oh. Let's come on up to a seated position. Sitting super tall. You have a couple of options for your legs here. You can keep your legs out nice and straight, making sure to keep your feet pressing down into the mat, or you can keep your feet flat on the floor. Alrighty, we're sitting up super, super tall, belly button pulled right into your spine. Right, you're pulling your belly button in so much that you are flattening your back out, looking up super tall. Letting your sits bones press down through the floor and the crown of your head go right up into the ceiling. We're gonna start with a slow pulse back. Hands behind our thighs. We're keeping our nice tall flat back, okay? So try not to round your lower upper back, okay? Keep it all nice and tall. You're gonna hinge back from your hips and you're gonna pull back up to tall. Hinge back, lift tall, seated. Inhale down, exhale, pull it up. Now, if you find that you are feeling your hip flexors a lot here, I want you to think about pulling deep down into your low belly and sitting up tall. Not about closing the gap between your tummy and your thighs, but about sitting tall. That's gonna help you really pull into your abdominals instead of your hip flexors. If you'd like a little more challenge, arms out in front. You've got two more. Lift tall. Last one. Lift tall. We're gonna lower all the way back. Get comfortable here. Pull your belly in. Open your chest. Shoulder blades are drawn back behind you. We're gonna open our arms out, in, out, in. Keeping your tall back. Pressing your sits bones down into the floor. Keeping your shoulders wide. Tall, tall, open collarbones. Open, reach, open, reach. You got four, can you pull your belly in a little tighter? Three, can you lift your head a little taller? Two, hold it out there, double challenge. We're gonna lift up and out. Are you shaking yet here? You should be feeling your abdominals working so hard to maintain this hinged back position that you start to shake. Woo, you got four, out. Three, pull your belly in a little tighter. Two, hold it up there. You're gonna bend in, out, up and hold. Bend in, out, up, hold. You're almost there, keep holding in. Out, reach, pull your belly in, open your chest. If you need to sit up a little taller, go ahead. Just really fight that round lower or upper back. Keep everything nice and tall and open across the front of your body. Two more, in, out, lift. Last one. You're gonna reach your arms forward. Do not lose your hinge. Pull your belly in. Lift one leg up. Lift the other leg up. Find teaser. If you need to hold on here, go ahead. We're gonna roll our way down onto our back, but I'm gonna challenge you. Let go of your legs. Hands behind your head. Tuck your tailbone under, roll yourself down. Find your tabletop position. We start with crunches right here. Exhale up, inhale down. Up and down, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. As you exhale, lift, 
I want you to be mindful of what your abdominals are doing, right? You're pulling your belly button down into the floor, trying not to let your belly lift up to the ceiling as you crunch, right? You're pulling down towards your center. Four, three, two, hold it right here. Hug your knees in, squeeze, keep your chest lifted. Can you lift your rib cage up a little bit more? Press your ribs down to the floor, shoulder blades lift off the mat. Let go of your arms, just hold. Reach your fingertips past your toes. You have the upper body lifting up. I want you to think about squeezing your knees in towards your chest. Really tightening yourself up into the tightest little ball you possibly can. Hold it. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more breath, big inhale. Exhale, roll down, rest. Super work today, y'all. Let's start to stretch it out. Lengthening our legs long down on the mat. Arms up overhead. Sinking down into the floor. Stretching right here. Breathing. Hugging your knees back into your chest. We're gonna take a spinal twist. Arms out to the side, dropping your knees down to one side, taking your gaze over your opposite shoulder. If you're looking for a little deeper stretch, extend your top leg. Try to grab onto where you can, your ankle, your thigh, maybe your big toe, and lengthen your leg out. Taking this really deep twist, Big inhale into your ribs. Exhale. Bend your knee. Roll yourself back to center. Drop your knees down to the other side. Take your gaze over your opposite shoulder. Extend your top leg out. Grab onto whatever you can, your thigh, your ankle, your calf, your big toe. Try to really reach your leg long. Big inhale into your ribs. Exhale. Bend your knee back in. Roll yourself back center. Hug your knees in, roll yourself up to seated. Sitting up nice and tall, taking your hands back. Keep your chest lifted. Right, we're not sinking down, we're opening our chest. Feet wider than your hips. We're gonna rock our knees side to side. Taking a second to just feel. Hips opening up here. Getting some internal and external rotation. Taking time to really release at the bottom of each side. One more set. Last time. Both knees coming on up. Finding your mermaid sit. One knee forward, other knee back. Taking a big inhale up. Exhale, round yourself all the way down over your front knee. We are getting a double whammy here. We are stretching. External rotation on our front leg, internal rotation on our back leg, opening up our hips. Feeling a really good glute stretch on our front thigh. If you can, reach your fingertips a little bit farther out. Stretch a little deeper. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Think about reaching the crown of your head towards your fingers. Rolling yourself all the way up. Switch your legs. Big inhale all the way up. Exhale. Reach forward. Stretch right over your thigh. Reaching your fingertips out a little bit farther if you can. Reaching the crown of your head right towards your hands. Big inhale. Big exhale. Coming up onto all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Big inhale, exhale, 
tuck under into cat. Tailbone tucks under, chin tucks under, belly button lifts up to the ceiling. Big inhale into your back. Exhale, drop down into cow. Pressing your shoulders away from your ears, opening your chest, lifting your chin. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, tuck under into cat one more time. While you're here, I want you to wiggle your hips. Can you press one hip towards your hands and then the other hip towards your hands, getting a little tail wag in this rounded back position. Now find your cow, dropping your chest forward, belly comes down. Do the same thing. Can you bring one hip towards one shoulder, other hip towards the other shoulder, wiggling through, loosening up the low back. Finding neutral, tuck your toes. Down dog. Hands reaching into the floor, head reaching right towards your fingertips. Heels pressing down to the mat, tailbone tipping right up to the sky. Holding here for a second, relax your neck. Big inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, drop your heels. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more time, big lift. Exhale, drop. Lifting up your right leg. Bend your knee, open up your hips, keeping your shoulders square to the floor. Really lifting your bent knee up towards the ceiling and reaching your bent toe over towards your opposite shoulder. Feeling that nice stretch across your front body. Bring it back down. Other leg, lift. Bend your knee. Lifting your knee right up to the ceiling, reaching your toe over to your opposite shoulder. Shoulder staying square to your mat. Bringing it back down. Walking your hands in towards your toes, finding forward fold. Holding right here. Taking a bend in your knees, straightening your legs back up. Look underneath yourself. Bend, look at your fingertips. Straighten, look between your legs. Two more, bend, straighten. Last time, bend, straighten it up. Take a slight bend in your knees, start to roll up to standing, take your time. Tailbone tucks under, head lifts, shoulders roll down and back. Taking a big inhale, up, exhale. One more time, big breath up. Exhale. Thank you so much, y'all, for coming and joining me today on this beautiful Tuesday. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week.